So the BSAA is messing around with bioweapons. We see this at the end of Resident Evil 8, but we don't know too much beyond that point. We don't know why they're doing this. We don't know who has ordered them to do these sort of things. We don't know anything. But that's what I want to make this video on, is to speculate who I think is behind all this and why they're doing it. Now, Capcom could be going in a completely different direction come Resident Evil 9. They could introduce a new character, and that's the one who is behind all of this, and that wouldn't surprise me. But for the purpose of this video, I want to assume that they're going to bring back a character that we saw in a previous Resident Evil game and have them finally resurface. And that character is Alex Wesker. I believe Alex Wesker really fits the mold for this situation perfectly because she was all about immortality and living forever, and that's exactly what the Megamyce and the mold allows for you to do. Because Mother Miranda was well over 100 years old, but was able to still continue keeping a youthful appearance through the power of the Megamyce. So that's definitely something that Alex Wesker would want to get her hands on. Now, we know in Revelations 2, her physical body was completely destroyed and killed off, but she successfully transferred a copy of her consciousness into Natalia, and so she's been pretty much living within Natalia's mind throughout the years. Revelations 2, of course, took place in 2011, and Natalia was around 10 years old during that time. So, during Resident Evil 8, Natalia would be around 21, maybe 22 years old, a full-grown adult. This is what I'm thinking might have happened. I'm thinking, since Barry adopted Natalia, and he is good friends with Chris Redfield, who was one of the key founders of the BSAA, there's a good chance that Natalia, either through her own will or through the will of Alex Wesker, joined the BSAA and had started working her way up to power of a high position within the uh, organization. You know, she probably joined when she was 18, so a few years have passed, and by the time Resident Evil 8 shows up, she might be a captain of her own squad or something like that, or maybe even a higher rank, who knows. But I think that might be what could have happened, and then she heard rumors about the Mega Mice and the mold and all this other stuff and wanted to investigate it. And so she had a team of BSAA members go out and investigate this village and see what they could find, maybe come back with a sample of mold or something like that. Who knows? But I could definitely see Alex being behind why the BSAA was at the village. Only thing I don't really know is why they had a bioweapon, what was their plan of use for it. I don't really know what they were going to do with that, but I could definitely see Alex being interested in the Megamyce. However, as we all know, it was destroyed along with the whole village, and so that's going to kind of ruin Alex's plans if this is what she was doing. But, like I said in a, another video, I do think that Rose Winters is essentially a Megamyce. Like, I think she has pretty much all the powers that a Megamyce had stored in it. And so, if that's the case, um, Alex Wesker would be very interested in capturing Rose Winters and maybe even transferring her consciousness from Natalia's mind into Rose Winters' mind. Because if she gets a hold of Rose, she not only would have whatever powers you know Rose has from the mold and all that other stuff, but she would also have potentially immortality because Rose is a part of the mold and things like that, and so she could probably stop aging after a certain point and live forever if she wanted to. And if Alex could get that power, she'd be all about that because then she won't have to sit here and transfer her consciousness to other people's bodies because eventually Natalia's going to age and she's going to get old. And so Alex is going to have to find another person to transfer her consciousness into eventually. Rose would solve all those problems because with Rose, you could just not age anymore because of the properties of the mold and stuff. And so I think that's definitely something that Alex would be very interested in obtaining and so that could be a big plot point to Resident Evil 9 is Alex Wesker showing back up being you know the one who's caused all these problems with the BSAA and now she's looking to capture Rose. I could definitely see that being the thing not to mention Resident Evil 8 in its early development was going to actually be Revelations 3 so when you think about that it's like okay it was going to be Revelations 3 originally, so maybe Resident Evil 9 will connect Resident Evil 
Revelations 2 with it. And so we'll finally have Alex Wesker resurface after all these years because she is kind of a major villain when you think about it. I mean, she's a Wesker, but we haven't heard anything about her since 2011. Now, granted, she has been in the mind of a child, so what does she want to do? But now, Natalia, as I said, is somewhere in her 20s. So she's definitely got, you know, some power that she can use now. And so I definitely think this is some sort of plot point that they could definitely use. That's just a quick theory I wanted to make, is that Alex Wesker could potentially be the one pulling the strings come Resident Evil 9. She could be the one that's manipulating the BSAA, and maybe she's after Alex, or she's after Rose Winters to obtain all the power that she has stored inside of her. I think it'd be a very interesting plot to go with, and if she does show up, does that mean Barry will show up? Will Claire show up to finish her off since that's sort of their thing? It's Alex Wesker, where Albert Wesker was Chris's thing. Who knows? Lots of cool things that could happen with that, but that's the video I wanted to make. I'm going to end it here, and I will see you all on the next one. See you then.